Hey, many fish. Still the 14th. And when it rains, it pours, I guess, you know. But I, I have to share this with you. Just browsing through news. And I see several articles, actually, on the, uh, the smoke from these wildfires that's really reaping havoc on San Francisco. It's like, it's really bad, I guess. You know, there's quite a few articles out there. I'm poking around, uh, in telecast, looking at the, uh, satellite pictures and stuff. But the only, the only real satellites, unfortunately, that we, that we get are from NASA. And so I'm just checking it out. And I'm like, yeah, wow, that's, that's pretty gnarly. That smoke's coming right down over San Francisco, over the bay. And, uh, I'm just inclined to pull up my Google Maps. And so I do. And that smoke is just coming right down through this area, right? And crossing into San Francisco and creating a lot of problems. And the fires are all right up in this area. You know, this is where basically it all went down. Okay? If we just look at our little satellite here. See, it's that same area floating down there. And uh, so I'm just following it along here, and I'm just looking around San Francisco. And I've, I've seen this before, but I never really talked about it. But I'm curious if anyone can tell me, if you face your map due west, and you zoom in right outside the harbor, right outside the harbor, there is what I can only describe as a hieroglyph. You see the woman, there's her face right there, eye, nose, chin, there's her body, the arm coming down, the whole body's there. And this bird, which you can see clearly, there's the head, there's the beak, eyes, big eyes, there's his body right here, the tail, feathers and all, his little foot. I mean, it's very clear. And not hidden, I guess you could say. I don't know if anybody else has ever seen that. But there it is, right outside of San Francisco Bay. Go figure that out. What does that mean? And I was looking at, like I said, I was looking at IntelliCat. Well, yesterday I was looking here. And there was, there was a pretty sizable uh, smattering of earthquakes over there yesterday. Uh, this thing won't, won't come in. My, my internet's not that great. But anyway, yeah, this the earthquakes are all firing up through here on top of it all. So, man, what does that mean, folks? Can anybody tell me? I mean, I looked just a little bit, just in these last few minutes, for uh, any images that might, you know, hieroglyphs. And there's a lot that it could be. I mean, there's a lot with the woman and the bird. You talk about the Binu bird and... So that's what I'm leaning towards, but, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. That's awfully strange, folks. And just for giggles, you know, I measured, like I do, from uh, that particular hieroglyph. That's what I'm going to call it. I go, you know, basically in the middle of it there. And we go out to where the bulk of these fires started. And I just do this because I just do. And it was right out in this area where the fire started, right? Right along this Napa Valley area or Sonoma Valley area. And it's all right in the 33-mile range. I mean, that's all like right at 33 miles where those fires all started. I mean, you know, I'm just telling you this. I can't say that this whole situation stinks, but it stinks because it just does. I mean, nature starts fires. I get it. Accidents start fires for sure, but this was not natural. I would suggest it was supernatural and perhaps at the hands of men or otherwise. But I would leave to your discernment why we have a hieroglyph exactly 33 miles away from the fire zone with what I'm calling a Binu bird or something, which you can do your research on, and this female figure. Yeah. Riddle me that, I guess. Peace and grace.
Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 